Quite recently, Martha Stewart became the oldest swimsuit model to be featured in Sports Illustrated at age 81, shocking the public with how great she looked in the process. Of course, this sparked a lot of speculation from fans wondering just how Martha seems to keep herself looking so young, and maybe even getting better looking with age. Martha denies getting plastic surgery altogether, and even claims she's not fond of Botox. According to the star, she says it's mostly to do with certain skincare treatments, her health regimen and being extra careful in the sun. Well, today we'll look at Martha Stewart's before and after and then you can be the judge. Martha Stewart may have turned 81 last year, but the lifestyle guru and TV personality is showing no signs of slowing down. And not even a brief stint in jail has stopped her hustle. Has certainly come a long way. From working on Wall Street early on to running a billion dollar media empire, Martha has certainly come a long way. Martha Stewart was born in 1941 in Jersey City, New Jersey. At the age of 13, she already set out on a career in the spotlight, scoring modeling gigs in fashion shows, print ads, and TV commercials. While Martha changed her focus later to attend New York's prestigious Barnard College, she still found herself at the center of attention. When Glamour magazine named her one of the 10 best dressed college girls in 1961. In 1965, after marrying her school sweetheart and graduating, Martha went on to welcome the couple first and only child, daughter Alexis. In 1972, she then left her job on Wall Street to focus on gourmet cooking instead. Martha admired TV chef and personality Julia Child for inspiration before starting her own catering business that would end up taking off. Around this time and into the 80s, Martha had a brunette hairstyle, but that ended up changing once her career really started to take off in the late 1980s. Martha started lightening her hair to get the signature hair color she's kept up until this day. After Martha discovered cookbook writing, her star took off and she was a sensation, releasing dozens of books and making appearances on TV programs like The Oprah Winfrey Show and Larry King Live. Things continued to soar when Martha started her magazine Martha Stewart Living in 1990. Her first TV show premiered in 1993 and another from 2005 to 2012. However, things came to a sudden halt when she was wrapped up in an insider trip trading scandal in 2004. Martha pled guilty and served five months behind bars. While some assumed that Martha's prison sentence would be the end of her, she was able to bounce back better than ever, returning to the board of Martha Stewart Living Omni Media in 2011, and reinstated as chairwoman a year later. These days, Martha is worth an estimated $400 million. In terms of her style, Martha has maintained a similar look through her decades in the limelight, often sporting classic get-ups to events, as well as her signature blonde bob hairstyle. However, it's Martha's youthful glow now that she's over the age of 80, which is getting her quite a bit of attention turned towards her looks. In 2020, at age 78, Martha went viral after she posted this sexy poolside selfie to Instagram. She later explained about this snapshot. My camera came on backwards, you know, selfie mode, and I looked so nice. The sun was on my face. I thought, oh, that looks pretty. So I took the picture. It looked good. Then, in honor of her 81st birthday in August 2022, Martha shared one of her iconic selfies selfies once again. In January 2023, Martha shared a zoomed in selfie of her face with her head tilted back, eyes closed, and lips pursed, showing off her glowing skin while getting her hair done. She captioned the post, lying in the shampoo area of Frederick Fakai, the light was perfect for a new selfie. Absolutely no re-imaging, skin looking good after a mostly dry January in Pilates, at Bedford Pilates every other day. By re-imaging, I meant no filtering myself. And just hours after the first pic was posted, Martha put up more pics on Instagram from this trip to the hair salon. She shared three unfiltered images, she says, which appeared to be responding to some criticism in the comment section from the original post, including one comment that read, and this ladies and gents is perfect plastic surgery. Well, Martha responded back with her new photos, writing, these are the other three selfies I took. My expression was better in the first one, but my skin looks great in all of them. She wrote this before dropping her details about her skincare and wellness routines. No facelift, great 
derms my whole life, great exercise, and did I mention amazing facials at Mario Badescu the last 40 years. Then in May 2023, Martha shocked fans when she posed in a one-piece bathing suit for the iconic magazine Sports Illustrated, which was shot in January, the same month as those selfies. At age 81, Martha made history for being the oldest model to pose for the magazine, and everyone could agree that she looked amazing. Martha posed in the Dominican Republic for the shoot and appears in a total of 10 looks. During the cover story interview, Martha spoke about aging and her history-making debut, revealing that she avoided any bread or pasta for several months to get in tip-top shape. She said, when I heard that I was going to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit, I thought, oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to be the oldest person I think ever on a cover of Sports Illustrated. And I don't think about age very much, but I thought that this is kind of historic. Well, Martha looked so good that many theorized that she had to have had plastic surgery, but she was quick to shut down those rumors. Not only did she outright say she's never gone under the knife, she even added that she stays away from Botox too. Martha said, every now and then there are certain fillers that I can do for a little line here or there, but I hate Botox. It's a weird thing for me. I really and truly don't do a lot. What Martha did admit to doing before her Sports Illustrated shoot, aside from avoiding those carbs, included more frequent facials, getting a spray tan, and a complete body wax. Aside from eliminating bread and pasta, she also cut out alcohol alcohol and increased her Pilates workouts to three times a week. Martha continued, I've had absolutely no plastic surgery whatsoever. I have very healthy, good hair. I drink green juice every single day. I take my vitamins. I eat very healthfully. I have very good skin doctors. I'm very careful in the sun. I wear hats and I wear sunblock every single day. Still, other critics insisted that Martha's Sports Illustrated photos must have been majorly retouched. But considering her Instagram selfies that also might not be the case. Martha argued this, stating, they're not retouched. They're incredibly accurate pictures. I was really pleased that there wasn't much airbrushing. Back when Martha's first stunning selfie surfaced on the web, some plastic surgeons chimed in as well with their opinions on her looks, including Dr. Anthony Yoon, who said, Martha may have had more work done than she was letting on to her fans. Referencing some of those Instagram selfies from a couple of years back, Dr. Yoon said, it appears Martha has had a facelift to tighten her neck, her lips appear to have been plumped, and her face is smooth and wrinkle-free, possible result of Botox and fillers. However, this was all just speculation, and even in 2020, Martha told People magazine that she'd never ever had a facelift, and her glow was due to two very excellent dermatologists. Martha has admitted that maybe a couple of times a year she will go for some fillers. In her words, a little Juvederm injections here or there. Juvederm injections, also known as fillers, are used to restore facial contours and improve signs of aging using a base of hyaluronic acid that focuses on the cheeks, lips, and around the mouth. Martha also adds that the reason she's aging so well and looking so young is because of her genetics and that her good looks are thanks to her parents including her mom, who looked young until she was 93 years old, according to Martha. All in all, Martha Stewart claims her youthful glow is mostly because of the foods she eats and her healthy lifestyle. Sources say some of the most important things the star consumes to stay looking great include her daily green juice, her own garden-grown vegetables, mostly fish for her protein source, and she's also replaced all of her flour with non-traditional ones, saying that white flowers aren't healthy. Of course, Martha's facial and skin treatments help, along with her at-home beauty routine, which she's shared her top products are mostly from Mario Badescu. Well, after seeing Martha Stewart's appearance over the years, that's gonna wrap up today's before and after video. But before we go, answer this question for me. Do you see yourself aging gracefully or opting for more Botox and cosmetic work to stay young? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like to chat more. And if you want to watch another video, stay tuned for our before and after on Madonna. Bye. To be in the public eye as heavily as Madonna is, you're also frequently the subject of public scrutiny too. Considering she's been making hit music and turning heads since the late 70s, the superstar is no stranger to this, and regardless, has always stayed true to herself. However, at the 2023 Grammys, Madonna once again found herself on the tail end of controversy after viewers at home found the 64-year-old's physical looks almost totally unrecognizable. There's no question that Madonna has had cosmetic work over the years, but this time, 
fans worried that the Queen of Pop has pushed things too far and is now rocking a face overly full of physical enhancements. So the question remains, what procedures could Madonna have had done? Many leading plastic surgeons are weighing in with their opinions from too much filler and Botox to multiple facelifts and other invasive methods, but the pop icon herself has never confirmed exactly what work she's had done or, if any, the most Madonna has spoke on the subject was back in 2012 when she stated in an interview, I am certainly not against plastic surgery, however, I am absolutely against having to discuss it. When it comes to plastic surgery, the golden rule should probably be less is more, but excess is more or less a modern day celebrity's standard operating procedure. Some longtime beautiful celebrities like Madonna in this case are even becoming cautionary tales with experts weighing in to warn us that while some trendy procedures might start out looking subtle, they add up over time and can blow up in your face. Literally. And Madonna, well, she is no plastic surgery virgin, even if she's never admitted to having work done in the first place. In fact, in a scene during her 1991 rockumentary called Truth or Dare, Madonna mocked the very idea of ever having plastic surgery when she promised that her entire body is bonafide the real thing. Nonetheless, there have been signs throughout her career that she's had a series of cosmetic enhancements over the years. And according to the MCAN Health Network's team of surgeons, Madonna's first surgery was likely a brow lift that happened sometime in her early 30s. Since then, it's believed that she's had a series of facelifts, with the first one probably taking place around the age of 37, and a second one having been performed some 10 years later in 2005. That being said, the first time we knew for sure that Madonna had work done was probably when her face was profiled on a 2008 New York Magazine cover story entitled The New New Face. Come to think of it, that headline's a bit on the nose. At the time, Madonna had never admitted to having fillers done. In fact, she still hasn't, but still it's speculated. It wasn't until around 2012 that Madonna's tone regarding plastic surgery began to change in the public eye. That's when she spoke with the English media outlet The Mirror and told them, I am certainly not against plastic surgery, however, I am absolutely against having to discuss it. Despite her hesitation to openly discuss the topic, experts predict that Madonna has had somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 plus injections to her face over the last two decades, and that her excessive use of the technique made it impossible for the look to dissolve, which on top of her earlier facelift procedures has resulted in an appearance with an overfilled upper face and a narrow lower face. Some would even suggest Madonna's new look went a step too far, with Dr. Lawrence Reed telling the New York Post, it's unnatural, squarish, and mannish. Instead of making it flush, they overfilled it. The chin to the jawbone should be a smooth transition. They added too much. This is a case of injections gone bad. What Dr. Reed is talking about is something called dermal fillers. They're made out of a natural compound known as hyaluronic acid, a substance that normally dissolves between six and 12 months. And it's what Madonna likely had injected into her face to give herself this appearance. Another popular option is to use your own body fat instead of a dermal filler. But taking excess fat from say your stomach and injecting it into your face can also lead to problems. After all, the fat in your stomach tends to gain weight faster than the fat in your face, which means that you could wind up with an uneven look as the excess fat that you injected expands quicker than the rest of your face. Well, regardless of which option you choose, the treatment is meant to smooth lines and boost volume. For the most part, these fillers have largely been used by women over 40 since 1981, but more recently, women in their 20s have been using them too. After all, we do live in the selfie generation. But here's the honest truth about face injections. If you go overboard, your cheeks puff up to pillow-like proportions and your lips could do the same. That's why it's called pillow face. And Madonna's not the only celebrity who has suffered from it. 13 years later, Madge would stun us all once again when she showed up to the 2021 MTV Video Music Awards looking like a whole different person in face and body. This time, an overly inflated face wasn't the only things fans noticed about Madonna's new look. They were also taken aback by the suddenly booming size of her chest. 
Now look, Madonna's never exactly been lacking in that particular part of her body, but those look new. However, it's hard to know if she's had a breast implant for sure. Now look, Madonna's never exactly been lacking in that part of her body, but those look new. However, it's hard to tell if she's had breast implants. What's easier to determine is that she most definitely had butt implants or a BBL, a Brazilian butt lift, as her rear end increased in size around 2019. Most recently at the 2023 Grammy Awards, Madonna's face was the subject of attention as well as some shock and backlash. While she's always had a famous face, this time viewers at home rendered the 64 year old new look almost unrecognizable. While presenting before other hot artists who are pushing boundaries like Madonna herself has always done, such as Sam Smith and Kim Petras, who performed Unholy, fans still felt the need to express shock for Madonna's appearance. I mean, it is somewhat shocking, but if you've been following her TikTok, for instance, then I mean, you've definitely seen how Madonna's been looking recently. Regardless, comments began to roll in from devoted fans to vicious news anchors attacking the way Madonna looked. The folks over at Fox News suggested climate activists might be seconds away from coming after the singer for quote unquote, all the plastic in her face. Some rude commenters even stated that she had a striking resemblance to a 2,700 year old vampire who eats babies and small animals alive. I don't even know what that means, but okay. Fans mourn the loss of Madonna's old face, wishing she never would have dabbled with so much cosmetic work in the first place. It's quite clear Madonna has had a facelifter, a couple, some eyebrow lifts, lip injections, filler, perhaps buccal fat removal, and likely more. None of this can be confirmed by anyone other than the pop star herself or her doctor, but most of those noticeable nip tucks begin to seriously take shape around the time Madonna was reaching her 60s. The 60s are a notorious point in a person's life when the skin begins to wrinkle and sag, so I guess that makes sense. Dr. Michael Horn, a Chicago-based plastic surgeon, gave his professional opinion after the Grammys about Madonna's latest looks, and he believes that the material girl likely went under the knife recently. He said, last night's appearance at the Grammys showed the most different looking version of Madonna we have seen. She has undergone a facelift. This is obvious because her skin is tight and pulled back with no wrinkles. Her eyes also seem smaller, likely due to being pulled during a facelift. Madonna previously had a natural nose that suited her face. It appears as if she has had rhinoplasty since this version has a pointy tip and seems too narrow. Dr. Horn added that Botox was evident on many parts of her face since there was a lack of expression lines and wrinkles, as well as minimal facial movement when she gave her speech. At the end of the day, Madonna's face and body is hers and hers alone, and she can do whatever she wants to it. The truth is, no one can or should have the right to tell her or any celebrity how to live their life, or what cosmetic work they should or shouldn't do. And Madonna, well, she also agrees. After she began to get criticized for her appearance at the Grammy, she took to social media to clap back. Madonna explained that she was excited to present Sam Smith and Kim Petras before their history-making performance for Unholy, but rather people decided to focus more on her looks. She said, instead of focusing on what I said in my speech, which was about giving thanks for the fearlessness of artists like Sam and Kim, many people chose to only talk about close-up photos of me taken with a long lens camera by a press photographer that would distort anyone's face. Madonna continued to say, once again, I am caught in the glare of ageism and misogyny that permeates the world we live in. A world that refuses to celebrate women past the age of 45 and feels the need to punish her if she continues to be strong-willed, hardworking, and adventurous. I mean, she's not wrong. She also added she never apologized for any of her creative choices or the way she looks and won't start now. Madonna hopes to continue being a trailblazer in the industry so that women after her may have a quote unquote easier time. Finally, she said that she looks forward to many more years of her iconic behavior and pushing boundaries, standing up to the patriarchy, and most of all, enjoying my life. 
So one thing is clear, regardless of the work Madonna has or hasn't had done, she couldn't care less what people have to say, and she's too busy living her life. Not to mention the Queen of Pop will be hitting the road between July and December 2023 for her 40th anniversary tour. So if any of us are lucky enough, we can maybe get to see Madonna's face live as well as her amazing show. But for now folks, that will conclude today's before and after. Before we go, answer me this. Do you think the public in Hollywood are far too harsh on women in the natural aging process in comparison to male celebrities too? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well as how we might be able to change that narrative. If you'd like to check out some more episodes before you leave, then be sure to look up our other before and afters on other icons like Priscilla Presley. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.